Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing my February favourites and fails. Um, yeah, the last time I did a favourites video was October, so I thought it was very overdue to do another one. First couple of things are skincare things, and then I've got makeup, and then all of that jazz. So, the first thing I have to show you is the Vitamin E Refreshing Toning Mist. This is from Superdrug, I got this for 2 dollars and basically what it does is you just spray it onto your face, and it just gives you moisture, it gives you colour, it gives you everything, and... I don't know how to describe it, but it just makes your skin look so much better than if you didn't have it on. Next, I got the Nivea Soothing Cleansing Mousse, and this is for dry and sensitive skin. Now, I bought this um, because I wanted something to use with my, like, electronic cleanser. This is one that I have. I got this from eBay for, like, £3. It's the 5-in-1 Beauty Care Massager. And I got this, and I didn't have anything to use with it, so when I got this, this was £3, £4, something like that. Um... But I've only used it a couple of times, but so far I'm really, really liking it. Next, I have got this. This is the Body Shop um, Pink Grapefruit Body Butter. I got this for Christmas as a present, and my other body butter from Jack Wills ran out, so I need a new one, so I started using this one, and oh my god. A, it smells amazing, and B, it just makes my skin so soft. I put this all over my body every single night. Um, and basically, the Body Shop Body Butters are the best ones I've ever tried. Then I've also got the... Body Shop Lip Butter, the pink grapefruit one as well. It came in a set with um, this, the body butter, and a perfume. I haven't, I've used a perfume a couple times, but I'm, I started using this lip butter, and oh my god, it is amazing. <laughs> this stuff makes my lips so soft. I get really dry lips because I wear liquid lipsticks a lot, um, so my lips are dry and crusty and all of that. So I just thought I'd give this a try. And A, it smells good enough to eat. So when it's on my lips, I just want to eat it. And B, it's just so good. It really, really penetrates my lips and makes them soft and gets rid of all the dry patches. Next on to makeup, I have got the Freedom Pro, Pro Studio Priming Water. Got this from Superdrug as a priming water. And this I've been using pretty much every day instead of like a cream primer. I much prefer using a spray over like a cream gel whatever as a primer um this is six pound and it's a really really good affordable option if you don't want to spend the money on the smashbox primer water which is about 24 pound or something this is basically the same thing i've used both and i don't see much of a difference the favorite makeup this month is not really all that much i've got two lip products i've got the milani matte lipstick in the shade matte naked and i've been wearing this pretty much like every single day and as you can see, it's just your perfect, like, pinky nude. What I love about the Milani lipsticks is they smell so good. They are the best smelling drugstore lipstick I've ever tried. Oh my god, I could just smell them all day. The other lip product is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade I'm Nude. Um, I have been getting a lot more Jeffree Star products as of recent, and these are a really good formula for liquid lipsticks. They are not that drying. There's the I'm Nude there. As you can see, it's just a much lighter version of the Naked by Milani. But these liquid lipsticks are not drying at all. They last a really long time. I can eat with them, and they stay on, and they're just super, super good. I've got a highlighter. This is also by Freedom. I bought this at the same time. I bought the Priming Water. This is the Freedom Pro Highlight in the shade diffuse this is like their pinky highlight it is so pigmented it's not doing it just this stuff is just so pigmented and there's another swatch there and it's just a super affordable highlighter this was maybe like three pound or something and look how much product you get next i have got two makeup applying products i have got this sponge this I got from Poundland because my H&M sponge was starting to crust and get a little bit manky and just I've been using it like every single day forever and I really needed to use a new sponge so I just went into Poundland and bought a sponge thought it was going to be terrible but it's actually pretty good and then I've got my fake NARS Eda brush I got this from eBay for one pound or two pounds something like that and <laughs> I use this every single day to contour. It is so good. I, I don't own the real NARS Eater brush, so I don't know. But this, you know, it looks like it. And it's just really thin and really fluffy. And it's just perfect for getting in your cheekbones when you want to contour. And my one and only fail this month is this. This is the Vitamin E Skincare Gentle Micellar Solution. This is from the exact same range that my toning spray is from. This is amazing. This is shit. As a micellar water, it's pretty good. Like, it gets my makeup off 
all of that jazz. The reason this is shit is because it is not for sensitive. This is supposed to be a gentle micellar water for normal to dry skin. This stuff here burns my fucking eyeballs. Every time I use this around my eyes, it burns them. Like, it feels like my eyeballs are melting out of my face. And I wouldn't expect that. Like, I expect that from cheap micellar waters. I bought loads of cheap micellar waters and they've burned my eyes and I've just thrown them away. This is supposed to be for gentle, like, this is supposed to be really gentle and for sensitive skin. And it's just not. So that is it for all of my favourites this month. Sorry I don't have that many. I'm going to try and do these more often because I do enjoy like watching people's favourites and all of that jazz and what their fails are of the month and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and do these more often. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!